Hey guys, this is the Infinix Hot 12, the free fire edition that carries interesting design themes and wallpaper out of the box. It brings this gaming vibe which I think Infinix wants you to see as a gaming smartphone. Can we say this is a low budget gaming phone? I'm actually super excited about this one because aside from its wannabe gaming smartphone, it offers major improvement coming from its predecessor, the Hot 11. The unit that I have here comes with the MediaTek Halo G85 Octa-Core CPU, 4 gigs of RAM that can be expanded to 7 gb through memory fusion technology. There's another variant with 6 gb of RAM that can also be expanded to 11 gb An impressive 5000 mAh battery bundled with an 18 watt fast charger. More on that later in the video. It has a 6.82 inch HD Plus display with 90Hz refresh rate and a touch sampling rate of 180. Surprisingly, it comes with the stereo speakers for immersive sound quality. The Hot 12 comes with Android 12 out of the box, which is a first for any Infinix smartphone. And I pray it doesn't die with it. You get what I mean? Better with Android 12 and buried with Android 12. Ah, it's actually a fashion for Infinix. Okay, so before we begin, let's start with the unboxing experience. Opening the box, the first thing you see is a smartphone wrap in plastic that carries major highlights of the device. The color I have here is called Origin Blue and I think it looks awesome but more on that in a minute. Moving on, we have a SIM ejector tool, a warranty card that says you have 30 days of broken screen protection for free. What it means is if you happen to break your display within the first 30 days of activation, it will be replaced for free. Ah, uh, that sounds good. It comes with an x pack leaflet. A free fire sticker, a $25 free fire gift card voucher, a dollar go card for X Club registration. It also comes with this interesting plastic case that looks amazing. We have an 18 watt charger, a USB Type C cable, and earphones. Now, moving on to the design and build quality, the origin blue that I have here actually looks very interesting. It has a matte finish that looks cool. I really love how beautiful it looks. The camera bomb has this reflection thing going on that reflects according to how light hits it. Beauty, they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. So you tell me what you think about the design of this device in the comment section below. It's a device that is made out of plastic and to be honest, the design here can fool you into thinking it has a glass rear. For a low-end device, it feels and looks like a premium smartphone. It has a plastic frame and a plastic rear which isn't obvious because almost every smartphone in this price bracket is made out of plastic and plastic is more durable okay so for a 6.82 inch device it doesn't feel too big or uncomfortable to hold on the right side of the device we've got the power button and the volume rocker keys the power button also serves as a fingerprint scanner and it is fast and responsive all the time to the left we've got a sim tray that can take dual nano sim and a micro sd card at the bottom we've got a headphone jack a microphone a usb type c charging port and the speaker grill as you can see here there's another speaker located at the top of the device. For the dual speakers on here, it is loud, but be aware that it can rattle a bit at max volume. I'll call it decent, yeah, but it lacks bass. Moving on to the rear, we have a triple camera setup that comprises a 30 megapixels main sensor, which is a downgrade considering the fact that the Hot 11 had a 50 megapixels camera, at least for the one sold in Nigeria. There's a 2 megapixels depth camera, a VGA camera, and a quad flashlight. To be frank, those extra two sensors don't really count that much. What really matters is the 30 megapixels main sensor, which we're going to talk about later in the video. Moving on to the front of the device, we have a 6.82 inch 720p display. It is a punch hole style that houses an 8 megapixel selfie camera. The front of the device also houses a dual LED flashlight for selfies. Speaking of the display, the Hot 12 comes with a large 6.82 inch HD Plus display, which Infinix calls premium rapid refresh rate display hmm that's quite a mouthful now you tell me how premium a 720 display is that being said it is 720 by 1640 resolution with a pixel density of 263 it has a 90 hertz faster refresh rate and a touch sampling rate of 180 hertz which is quite fast and responsive to touch it is bright with good contrast Watching YouTube videos is fine and the screen is okay for the price. The slight downgrade of the display is the brightness level, which is below 500 nits. It struggles a lot in direct sunlight, which might be a thing of concern to some people. I know at this price point, you don't expect to have the greatest, but generally the display is okay. 
On the performance aspect, the Infinix Hot 12 comes with the MediaTek Helio G85 Octa-Core CPU. It's a 12 nanometer processor, which in today's standard is considered old. It is still a capable mid-range gaming processor and it shows here. I ran some benchmarks and the result shows moderate numbers that are capable of handling most 3D games at low to medium graphics settings. As usual, I played Call of Duty Mobile and the gameplay was okay with adjusted graphics settings. I also played Free Fire which the Hot 12 is optimized for. The gameplay was smooth with settings set to ultra graphics. I guess Free Fire isn't that GPU demanding looking at the game size and the type of graphics it is pushing. Raw performance is fine. With 4GB of RAM because I didn't notice any performance gain with the extra 3GB of RAM when I was playing games. The 90Hz faster refresh rate makes scrolling through the user interface super responsive. Opening apps is fine, web browsing and multitasking is fine. With the help of the extra RAM or memory fusion, the Hot 12 was able to retain more background apps while still running smoother. Android 12 is what comes with the Hot 12 but with a new custom software which Infinix calls XOS 10.6. It comes with some new features and the user experience is just as we saw on the Infinix Note 11. A swipe to the top right corner reveals a quick settings panel, then a swipe to the left reveals a notification center. We also have some app group folders for different apps. The settings menu also sees some UI changes which look similar to what we've seen on Xiaomi smartphones. Bluetooth is still present but not as intrusive as it used to be in the past. You might want to do a little bit of housekeeping by uninstalling some of the unwanted apps for a much better experience. Now let's move on to the camera, the 13 megapixels camera that graces the back of this device. The Hot 12 takes decent looking images especially when the lighting condition is good. It is bright with nice colors and dynamic range is okay for a device in its class. It has details and I love how saturated most of the images appear. It is not mind blowing. Of course, this is not a phone you want to buy if camera is your main concern. Portrait shot also looks good as well, but not the best that I've seen from a mid-range device. Hey guys, so this is a rare footage from the Infinix Hot 12, currently shooting in 2K, yeah, 30 frames per second, which is actually the highest it can go. Uh, when you're shooting in 2K, there's a video stabilization. If you want that, you have to switch to 1080p mode. Uh, what do you guys think about the video quality here and the audio quality? Kindly let me know. Alright, let me know down in the comment section below. The selfie camera is also decent but dynamic range suffers a little bit. However, I like how the 8 megapixels still manages to retain some details and also like the color reproduction. Kindly go through the images and tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Hey guys, so this is the front facing camera of the Infinix Hot 12, currently shooting in 2K as well, 30 frames per second. As you can see, it's struggling when it comes to dynamic range, uh, but it's trying for a mid-range device, I can't really fault it that much. Uh, I think the footage looks okay, but what do you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. One of the highlights of this device has to be the 5000mAh battery on here that is very reliable and decent. It can comfortably last the entire day if you're an average user. To be frank, battery is not an issue here. And for charging, the 18 watt fast charger did well for a budget device. It took the Infinix Hot 12 1 hour and 45 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%, which is somewhat okay and impressive, but it is still below what other brands offer at the same price. Speaking of the price, the Hot 12 goes for 93,500 Naira or $170 for the variant that I have here. The most selling point of the Hot 12 is the Halo G85 gaming processor, a slick design if you care about that and the expandable RAM. You get an impressive device with an impressive performance, a respectable battery life and Android 12 out of the box, which I pray gets an update to Android 13. Let it not die with Android 12, in Jesus name, say amen in the comment section. So in conclusion, the Hot 12 is a budget gaming device that can handle most 3D games. It can handle most basic tasks effectively and I will highly recommend it. So that has been it guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.